Hey y'all, so The Impact Atlanta came back for a second season today, and they dropped two episodes. So let's get into these episodes. Well, first I want to start off by saying these two episodes were really good. So good, a lot of content, and we've seen so much more from Des and Lakia. So let's get into it. So the episode starts off with Ari and Bag on a yacht. Now, we don't get too much dialogue from them on the yacht. We more so get dialogue from Ari and her confessional. It kind of gave the vibe that he was a little shy in front of the camera. But in in Ari's confessional, she basically says that, yes, they're still together. Things are still going strong. No wedding bells right now. They're not thinking about marriage. She also mentions a fact, the factor of him having a lot of kids maybe being a reason of why they're not thinking about marriage or why she's not thinking about marriage and I'm like Ari now you know you met him and he told you he had all them kids you knew what you was signing up for but okay so the next scene we see after this is Ari in a car she's in Atlanta she facetimes her assistant and they talk about remedy real quick then she facetimes your son she's just checking up on him and then she also talks in her confessional about remedy swim her cosmetic line cooking her cooking show her hostings and instagram basically saying she's in work mode she has a lot going on she's super busy so next we see lakia we see lakia at her listening party for new music she's planning to drop in her confessional she says she's back the female goal is back and she also says she hasn't reached the pinnacle she wants to reach in her career she wants to be more successful then we see people responding well to her music at the party and that's pretty much it for her opening scene in the next scene we see tay and tucson out shopping in his confessional tay talks about selling out in one day with his hair products and how he's trying to elevate and be in big stores and he wants to move more to the fashion scene in new york while shopping they also talk about tucson having a party tucson is having a party to set the tone for summer tay asks him well, when is the party? Because, you know, I'm going out of town to go work for Dream. And T Tucson goes, oh, well, you know, I think it's the same day. Then Tay goes, that's you and that last minute stuff. And in the confessional, they both are laughing. And Tucson goes, is it too late to change it? And they both just start cracking up. I thought that was funny. So then they also talk about Tay wanting to move to New York and Ari wanting to move to Miami. Tay says that in the beginning, he thought it wasn't a good idea, but then he thought about it and he thought he didn't want to hold no one back. And then Tucson says it's dumb for her to go to move to Miami. I'm like, ooh. And Tucson also says that the friend, their friend group dynamic has changed because everybody's always out of town. He says his passion is really for rapping and he's more than Tay and Ari's friend. And you know, he was in a confessional smoking at hookah. One thing about Tucson, he's not going to go nowhere without a hookah. He's also working on his EP. In the next scene, we see Des in her confessional outfit is so cute. Side note, does anyone think that she looks like Marlo from Real Housewives of Atlanta. I think she looks like a younger version. I don't know. But back to the episode. So she opens up in her confessional and she says that her career is taking off more. She's on tour with Future and Mariah the Scientist. And then we see her at like a dance studio kind of practicing for her performances. And she says the consistency with tour has been helping her a lot. And she has so many new opportunities. She was featured in Vogue. I was like, okay, girl. And then she wants to tap into different avenues like modeling. And I'm like, I can definitely see Des as a model. So she was really excited because her family was going to see her at a show in Kansas City or Minneapolis. And she got a call saying that the shows have been postponed due to a tornado warning and she was really upset i really enjoyed this scene because we seen her like smiling and like really like you've seen emotions like i don't know in the last season we literally just seen Des just sitting there like looking like why am i here in the next scene we see carla and lakia link up at like a lounge and in her confessional she tells us that jerica carla is her real name but she goes by carla 
She is a brand ambassador for several companies, and she is an OG in the influencer game. She's pretty much known for hair, makeup, and fashion. And she says that Atlanta is what made her who she is today. She says that the spotlight was really shined on her when she got into a relationship with Young Thug. She signed to YSL. Now, at the lounge, Lakia asked Carlay how is her mental since the YSL indictment. So... She basically says she's just growing, and before they got indicted, that she dropped a project, and everybody in the YSL group was really excited, and then when that happened, right before her big moment in rap, in her rap career, nobody, she didn't have anybody to back her, you know, like, the y, like Gunna and Young Thug, they was in jail, you know? So, but she also says that situation helped her lock in on herself. And she says that nobody can save you but you. And I'm like, yes, girl. They go on to talk about Tucson's party. Lakia says she can't make it. But Carlay says that D. Russian invited her and they're going to go to the party together. Lakia also asks about her relationship with the other cast members. And she says she asks with Ari. Ari's a real one. She says she knows Tucson's crazy self. They have partied in the club together. She says she was really close with Tay back in the day but they kind of drifted apart because of something she supposedly said it was like a he say she say thing she says her and Des don't speak because they stopped talking she says she wouldn't call Des her friend but they're they was cool and they was working on music to release and she was excited and then Des team gave her like pushback on the music and then she was just feeling some type of way about that. And she plans to talk to Des and Tay at the party to figure out whatever situation they got going on. Carlay is coming in with a storyline. Listen, we got the situation with Des, with Tay. It's, it's a lot, girl, but I like her. In the next scene, we see Ari in L.A. She's making tacos with Bo and Yosan. And she says she's missing her men. And this is a funny moment. Yosan says, who's your man? And she was like, you tell me, who's my man? And he goes, Mario. And then he goes, what about me? <laughs> she goes, you my son. He said, oh, yeah, your best son. <laughs> she says she doesn't like being in L.A., but Mario begged her to come. So she's there while he's working on his album in the studio. In her confessional, she says she's never been married. She never grew up in a house with her parents together. And she never knew what a healthy relationship looked like. She says dad was not their sperm donor or whatever you want to call him. Now, we're going to get into the daddy issues in further episodes. And I'm interested to see that. But back to the scene. She says that with all her relationships in the past, she didn't know what to expect from a man. And it kind of made her closed off as far as loving somebody and being scared that they would leave. She also says Yosan is her number one, and she's tr she's trying to set a good example by having a mature relationship with Mario. She gets a FaceTime call from Tucson, and he says he's having a party tomorrow. And Ari's like, well, why would you have a party if you know I'm out of town? He just laughs her off, and he's like, girl. So he's she's like, she'll try to find a way to go. And then there's a confessional and she's like, Tucson is so obsessed with me. And then the camera zooms out and Tucson is right next to her. And then they um, insert a bunch of funny clips of Tucson messing with her and being obsessed. And I thought that was cute. In the next scene, we see Carlay meeting up with D. Rush and take her outfit together. Her outfit was cute. It was like a red cheetah print top with like a cute skirt. And they talk about the animosity between her and Tay and her and Des. D says he don't want to walk into the party with no secret animosity. She feels like if someone has a problem with anyone, they should be able to just speak up about it and have a conversation. She says if Tay's open to have a conversation, then she's willing to have it. Now, get, let's get into Des. So her and Des, she says with Des, communication is everything and they're too grown to have any weird space and not talk about it. She says Desk asked her to come to a Mariah the Scientist concert and she agreed to go because she's like, I like her music. She's cool. Like she, yeah. So after she agreed to go to the concert, she found out down the line that Thug and Mariah were dating and that Desk was friends with her. And they kind of left a weird taste in her mouth because she was like, did you invite me to this knowing what was going on? 
and she said the next day she tried to hit Des and Des didn't answer. She said she felt like it was weird for her to invite her to the concert knowing that Mariah was messing with Doug. So after finding out about all of this, she just felt dumb because she was so excited to go. And she's open to talk to clear the air between her and Des because she don't want no weird energy around when they all have to link up as a group. So we finally make it to Tucson's party. He's in his confessional. He says he hopes that Ari makes it. And he sees Carla and he's like, well, Carla had to come with D-Russian because I didn't invite her. <laughs> Tucson explains that he met Carla a while ago when she was cool with Tay. And she came to him to get in the studio together. He wanted to exchange numbers with her. But she told him just to hit her in the DMs. And he thought that was weird. And she, he says she's more friendly now. But he feels like she's not genuine and she just gives phony. Then Des arrives, and we see Carla make a little stank face. I'm like, ooh. Ari does end up making it to the party, and as soon as she arrives, you know, Tucson is like, that's my rock, that's my rock. You know how he likes to play. And she goes and sits with Carla and Anaya. And she's like, did you speak to Des? She's like, it's weird. She's like, so y'all really not friends? Like, like y'all really not cool? And she's like, well, why don't, come on, let's go speak. So I'm like, dang, are you going by? You about to initiate this little conversation. <laughs> so they go and sit at the table where Des is sitting. And Carlay's like, what's up? Des is like, what's up? Carlay's like, well, I just want to figure out this weird vibe or that we got going on. Des is like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Then Carlay's like, the space for me and you in the studio every day, hanging out, having fun. That's like, well, that was a minute ago. We we never hung out on a daily. We was cool. And the vibe was just based on the studio. So then Des is in her confessional. She's like, I catch a lot of vibes in the studio. This was in 2020. If you really you if you if really felt some way, you should have been said something. And I agree. Like, girl, 2020? Are you serious? So then Carlay's like, it was a great vibe, even if it was just for work. And the energy just shifted. Des is like, we were cool. And then Carly's like, it was weird. Come on, bro. That's like, I don't know. I can't say anything for someone that's taking stuff personal. Carly is like, maybe it's my fault for taking it as more than what it was. Then it, the camera flashes to Ari just looking bored like, ugh, come on now. And then... Carlay just continues on going like around the bush. She's like, oh, well, your team didn't clear this song and all this other stuff. Then Ari's like, well, why don't y'all go talk in private? Then they basically just ignore her. Then Carlay's like, she's still trying to figure out this weird energy, but she's not talking about nothing for real. So then Ari's like, well, like, let's just address the elephant because y'all not talking about nothing. And then Des is like, right. And so that's like, I don't think it's an issue. Then... Carlay's like, it's not an issue. Then Ari was like, it's Mariah. <laughs> I was like, okay, put it on the table. Des is like, if that's what it's about, then we can't talk about nobody that's not here. Ari's like, I'm out, y'all, I'm out. And then Carlay's still trying to talk. And that's like, it's nothing to talk about. And let's be honest, like, you literally told D Russian what the problem was. You explained it perfectly. You said it in the confessional. But then you talking to Des and you talking about a song when clearly it's obviously not about a song. It's about the fact that she had invited you to the concert with Mariah and you felt that it was weird because you found out that they was friends and that Doug and Mariah was dating. So if that was what it was, then why you ain't put that on the table? You was talking about communication, but you didn't even communicate that. You was beating around the bush for like mad long. So then two sons like in his confessional, Jerrica, Carlay, whoever, neither one of them should have came. <laughs> then Des is in her confessional. She's like, it's not that deep. She says that she doesn't walk around thinking everybody got to be buddy buddy. And since they worked in the studio, it. It has to be a long-lasting relationship. It could just be work, you know? And then as Des is leaving, Carla is like, I don't I don't like fake stuff. And I was like, hmm, I really feel like they're going to make Jerrica like the villain of the show. Like, because you got, you got this little beef with Des. Then you got the beef with Tay. Then Tucson's not feeling you. So it's like the only person on the cast that's feeling you is Lakia and Ari. So now whenever y'all link together, it's going to be like this 
weird energy and animosity because you got these problems with everybody. Like, girl, what was you doing in the past? I need to know. I got to look her up or something. But I think the show started off really good. I liked Lakia. I liked Des. I liked Ari. Tay, we didn't really see him. Like he, like he said, he out of town. I like Tucson. I think it was. I think it started off good. Let me know if you guys tuned in. I'm gonna give this episode like a nine point five out of ten because we ain't see Tay like that. But let me know what y'all think. What y'all thought about the episode? And have a good day.